Welcome back to the Michigan State Wells. Today we're well fitting a well Wamless, Michigan. This is our first time being in Wamless, Michigan. We didn't see a whole lot of trains, but not special. I'm just gonna put all my special catches onto this video. So today is just gonna be some what random day. They were gonna get ready for Replacing the diamond here at Wamlin. So, I don't really know what's going on. This is M214 from Wayne. And then it's going to go work at New Boston. And then it goes down to Walwich, Weather. And then all the way to Columbia. And it had a wine 2 leader. So nothing too special, but it's... Wine two are pretty good sometimes. They're pretty rare. So, yeah. Since they're all going to be going to rebuild, so I want to get as much as wine two as possible. This is basically the local. This local comes from Oakwood Yard to Milan, Michigan. But today, he would go to Milan, but they're based out of Milan, and then they're going to Oakwood Yard in Detroit, Michigan. It has an SD40E leading the way with a couple, a bunch of garbage trains or whatever car they call whatever the blue containers are they're, I'm pretty sure they're all with garbage or something I'm not really sure so they have a lot of that today and yeah not too many flakes just a bunch of blue and whatever containers so that's kind of weird if you know what those containers are let me know in the comments I'm really curious what they are calling those things. Well, we're like south of New Boston after working at New Boston for many hours. This train is quite a long. He has a long Arawak this time. He was kind of short when he went through um, Wamla's, but now he's cut long. Because he worked New Boston Yard, the Arawak industry. So now he is going to be long for like till. Um, Weller. I think he works Weller. I'm pretty sure. 214 does. Unless this is 212 and they changed it, but not what I heard. I heard I got my I heard my radio saying this is 214. Unless it's long, but yeah, whatever. This mainly Arawak. I was thinking about chasing it, but nah, we wouldn't probably make it because we had a town coming up and there's crossing and we probably wouldn't make it in time so yeah that's the reason why I didn't chase it but the next time I will be it, it will be sometime in August that will be back in Wombles, Michigan
we will be back in Wombless, Michigan. After so many times off of Wombless. Now it's August 9th of 2023. It would be back. I would be back in Wombless. This is 529. Clear Wombless with a CP in the leader. And a Kansas City Southern Ace would be trailing second. I would thought it would be like a manifest or something. But no, this is an ethanol. I did not had any audio in this video, so yeah, that's the main reason why there's no audio. But I would say this was this is heading toward Bentonville, Illinois, but 529 has trackage rights. Well, all the CP trains has trackage rights on the NS Wabash line. And then they go on to the Chicago line to go through Chesterton and whatever. And then head over to Bensonville. So that's where it mainly goes for it. But they go all the way to Mason, Mason City, Iowa sometimes. But he will be going to Bensonville for we crew of stuff. And this is another train we got coming. But this one was another surprise. The Kansas City Southern was a surprise, but this is another one. I would thought this is a normal train, like a normal freight train. But when I was zooming in with the camera, that's a geo train. That's the NS geo train that NS is wanting on the Wabash. So it was a fairly well surprise. I ended up getting the drone on this one. But it was a little glitchy, but still, it's alright. With a good shot, with the camera and the drone, it would be ending up really good. So I'm going to show you guys the drone footage in right now. Now, this is CP-230 from Bensonville to Toronto, Ontario. They are bound for Toronto, Ontario. There's the drone. And I was going to fly it, but I knew it was going to be dead soon, so I just fly it for this, this what seems to be Canadian National. GE leading the way on 2.30. Well, I was ending up correct. The CN will be leading this 2.30 this afternoon. But I'm not going to show you guys the footage because I end up getting a picture. So, yeah. With the camera picture as well, well I did not get download the drone picture with this one. It was a cool one to see with CN leading this 2.30 this afternoon.
well. <laughs> we had some great times today. Not only did we just saw like form power, we end up seeing a white bit of trains. And with the Wayne as well. I did not add that footage in, but I probably will when I get done with this video. But there was just a community of a snowman and a tree. But I will be back here in Wamlet, Michigan on the August of 18th of 2023. But until next time, I will be seeing y'all then. That's a Saturday this coming up. It's not coming up this weekend, but it will be the weekend after. I'll see y'all then. See you later. We're back in Wamos, Michigan on the 18th of August of 2023. I will be back in Wamos, Michigan doing some more well fitting. And today we'll be having some great times. We would see a quite field uh, more power. This is the first train and we just got here. And this is our first train now. So let's just get started of today. Today is the 18th, like I said earlier. And now we're just doing some more wealth in here in Wamas. This is the last day till whatever time I come back here. It would be quite a while because a lot of other stuff I would do is with other spots to go. But this is 120 that just cleared Wamas, Michigan. Here comes I-51 from Detroit to New Baltimore. He is going quite late today. And what seems to be late is this train is a little late. You should you come through here during the morning time and get down to North Baltimore around this time too. It's nothing special, but I just decided to add this one in because I was 51. I never have a lot of I was 51s in the night video. But there was a lot of random trains that we would see. But yeah, I did not want to add them in because, well, I kind of wanted to, like, delete some on my SD card because I'm kind of running low, low on the SD card. While capturing this one, this will be the last train I would put into this video till, like, around 4.30, something like that. This is, like, 1 o'clock. And the VP cop would actually tell us to not be near to the tracks. Even though we weren't near to the tracks, we were actually by the diamond, but we weren't even close to it. We were on a gravel, and they just yelled at us to not be on it. They said, it's well of property. We've been on the, near that before, and well, no one yelled at us, so. Yeah, it, it, it's weird. CP cops around this area, like the Detroit area, I understand. But come to Wamless? Why? There's no point of coming to Wamless area like Wamless. Just stay in Detroit. That's what I would do. But, oh well. Sometimes we get yelled at by cops like that, and sometimes we won't. Besides, CP do not own the NS one. Norfolk Southern owns the Wabash one. So I don't really know what the deal is. But my David, my friend David, got yelled by the same cop. And the same thing.
well, now I'm looking at it, it's quite cool what the trailing unit is. It's around 430, and this will be basically our fourth, third train that I would put into this video. Well, I said that, the trailing unit is basically 6644, the World War II heritage locomotive. 137 would ending up sticking around Windsor till today. A day ago, we would hear that he would be in Canada, and 137 came from Toronto, Antonio to all the way to Heyman, Indiana. Well, say that, he's going all the way to Indiana, like in Chicagoland area, to terminate his track. While well, say that, you can't prove Walker's bill, or 10, Antonio around 24 hours ago, and now he's going through here in Wamless, Michigan. We would indeed get a northbound, and I would not be filming on that one. Well, I would, but I just didn't feel like put, putting it in Wait, this video. This Luckily, like however, M510 would any up had to stop before at this crossing. Like, frankly, anyway. 511 would any up had to go through first.
you would end up taking the other track, which is the closest track to me. And by the time I would get the drone up, M511 would end up about to be crossing the diamonds. And I would be pacing them. Quite frankly, I would be pacing the 511. Okay. Which was a good idea anyway. I had a, This is a really, really good shot. This was really good what I did. And um, how frankly, it will be ending up really good. Like this one right now. 511 would end up going down to Cincinnati Queensgate Yard. Where it terminates at. And where it came from is Detroit, Michigan. And at 510, he would come from Queen State Yard, Cincinnati, Ohio, to Detroit, Michigan, with New York. And after since I got the drone footage from that, this would all be ground view from 511. Well, this is the last train of the day before I went go back home. And until next time, it will be a great time in Wombless, Michigan, but it will be the last time I will be seeing my friends here in Wombless, Michigan. But until next time, I will be either around Ohio and Michigan, but until next time, I will be signing off here in Wombless, Michigan with my buddies and I'll be seeing ya in a Michigan or state or the Buckeye State Well signing off with my friends here in Wamos, Michigan. Thank you for watching. See ya y'all next time. That was 5-11? Yeah.